Welcome to the 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness. I'm Zarathustra, broadcasting live from Los Angeles. And today's topic is what is 5D quantum awareness and how do we reach, reach the uh, 5D quantum awareness? Nothing I say or you say, nothing you do or anywhere you go, there's nowhere to go, nothing to do. You cannot do anything not to be God. Regardless of how you feel and how you may feel disconnected and have this urge of becoming one with God, it doesn't matter how strong is your desire and how hard you're trying and what kind of jumping jacks you're doing. You are already God and you can't be anything else. This is what Papaji told me a long time ago. This is what Ramana Maharishi told Papaji. And now I realize it, that that's how it is. You are who you're looking for. But in a way, it's easy to say this. Then really recognizing it in a way that there is this sense of separation that you are in control of your life and you are the author of your you have this authorship of your own life and you're the one who's choosing things you're deciding what to do where to go you make mistakes or you accomplish things and they all have a sense that you are the one who's doing it. Which is a false notion. It's not true at all. It feels like it, it looks like it, it seems like it, but it's not. It's false. So, we talk about the 5D quantum awareness of what is fifth dimensional quantum awareness and what is it, how do we reach this level of awareness? Um, what is it going to do for me or for you? How is it going to affect your life? So, and we're going to get into that and I will going to dissect it and I will explain it to you to the best of my ability. The 5D quantum awareness is reaching, arriving at a level of understanding um, that this false notion of separation, this really sense that each and every human being as they're born, uh, they develop this sense that we are making our own decisions and we're in control of our, our own life and uh, therefore we make mistakes, there's regrets, I could have gone this way versus that way, I could have done this. Um, I should have done this, uh, I'm a bad person, I'm a bad mom, I left my kids and I ran away with some other guy and I abandoned my family or I have been abandoned, my parents abandoned me or they abused me or whatever, whatever is the story. Um, the, as you are developing and you're expanding your mind or you're going beyond the world of the mind. It's another word, another way of saying it. So there's an expansion happening. So rather than 
being super concentrated and super focused on one point and which basically this concentration uh, results in being really focused on a separate entity, being focused on this part that you're actually somebody capable of doing things on her or his own, separated from totality. It's a feeling you have. And as you're expanding, you're opening up through meditation, through various type of practices, spiritual work, is what happens is this laser focus that you have on being somebody, a separated entity, an individual, you know, it's like you are this, this person. And this person is kind of hovering around on its own. And it's independent and is making its own decision. This, this one is as you're expanding, you're opening up. You begin to realize that this single entity doesn't exist as a separate being, as a separate person. that your existence, that is very important and is very ba much focused based on an individual is a false per perception. It's, it's not existing. And that's a big blow at the mind. Because the mind cannot accept this. The mind will not uh, grog. It won't digest it. It's like what? Because the thought comes naturally. This thought comes from everybody. I had this thought. It, the thought comes and says, what do you mean I don't exist? What do you mean I am one with God and with everything? I have power. I can decide what to do. I can, you know, lift my arm. You know, I'm doing this right now. I decide on doing this. It's my choice. I decided to come to this webinar today. I cleared my schedule to be here today. Um, I pay my bills. I take my kids to school. I go to work every day. I clean my house. I do my hair. I shave my face. I do this. I do that. What do you mean that I, I don't do it? This is like BS. It doesn't make any sense that I'm not the one who's lifting this pen. I'm not the one who's lifting my arm. So it doesn't make sense to the average spiritual seeker. But as we do the work and we start expanding, the awareness starts to expand and loses its focus, not being so much focused on one entity, one unit. This is a unit. As the focus starts to, you know, not being like this really focused on concentrated on one person and the expansion starts to take place, then what happens is uh, in a way we can say your vibration starts to rise. You're rising, elevating to a higher consciousness. 